James Tracy with Second Swing Golf, a master fitter here with Second Swing, and you know I thought we would just kind of recap the year. It's you know middle of November right now, and snow's falling outside, and I know the tour van stays busy throughout the season, but definitely signs that uh, at least here in Minnesota our season's coming to an end. And thought it would be great to recap the year as far as the drivers are concerned. We had a lot of newcomers this year. Uh, really tight race when it comes to that top driver of the year. We see even on tour a lot that that number one ranking really fluctuated throughout the year. And as a fitter, that's exciting. You know, it's exciting when we can offer players a multitude of different options that are really specified for, for different player types, whether you're looking for a more draw bias driver, you're looking for something that's more lower spinning, or you're looking for something that just really gets the, that ball in the fairway. And I think there were some really great options this year. Um, you know, as we get ready for 2019, uh, a lot of these 2018 options will become great value plays for customers that shop with Second Swing or shop our websites, uh, looking at those uh, gently used options as well. So, you know, like I said uh, a minute ago, you know, there's really three categories that, you know, as a fitter, you know, I kind of bucketize all the heads into, and that would be kind of that high MOI category, that really low spin, kind of maybe anti-draw category. Uh, and then just kind of your traditional straight square setup. So, you know, for that high MOI player uh, that really wants something to go straight, uh, the G400 Max and the Callaway Rogue Driver were definitely the two top contenders there. Both are through the charts in forgiveness on off-center hits, which we can track when we're using TrackMan and kind of seeing where players are hitting it on the face. If we know you're a player that's not in the center of the face all the time, you know, both of those two drivers are really gonna help improve your miss hits give you a lot of ball speed when you get a little bit far away from the center of the face. And those high MOI numbers really allow that driver to straighten your ball flight out um, if you tend to be a, a player like me who, who tends to miss a fairway now and again. A lot of players also look at driver technology to help create a shot bias. And the overwhelming majority of players uh, right-handed players tend to miss to the right. So there are some specific driver models that really help fight the slice. And this year, the Rogue Draw, uh, the G400 SF Tech, and then the M4 Draw version were definitely the three best models in that category as well. All of those drivers employ a, a heel-weighted center of gravity um, and an adjustable hosel where you can even make lie angle adjustments to really get that club face uh, to help close down an impact. So, you know, for the players that historically missed to the right, looking at the Rogue Draw, G400, SF Tech, and the M4 Draw Type offer players, you know, three very distinctly different looking, sounding, feeling drivers, all with one mission, which is to really get you out of the right side rough. And then the last category that we see a lot of players chasing down in the driver fitting is that low spin category. You know, a player that really wants to maximize their distance by optimizing spin and launch and being able to do that with the club head without having to go to a six degree driver is really important. So creating that low spin tendency, again, Ping, you heard that theme, they really had three great head models that appealed to all three player types and the LS Tech uh, from G, the G400 line really tackles that uh, goal of lowering the spin. The TaylorMade M3 model and then the Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero, those three models were tremendously good at lowering the spin. Uh, all employ a little more of a forward center of gravity and all three heads probably appeal to a player that maybe as opposed to the last segment who misses to the right as a right-handed player, all three of those low spin heads uh, accomplish another feat which is maybe giving a player a flatter, more anti-left or anti-draw bias as well. And so that low spin uh, category um, really was dominated by those three. And then kind of as an aside, really late in the season here, we're in November, was Titleist coming out with the TS2 and TS3. And what's, what's fun with those two head models is they really appeal to all three of those category types. Um, the TS3 and TS2 are both great on spin and really added some ball speed, so Titleist really came to play, and they're going to be a huge contender as we move into 2019, especially with some of these other brands coming out with some new models. You know, that TS2 driver that recently launched, you know, that one's going to really, without the sure fit, uh, movable weight is really going to appeal to the golfer who is looking for that high MOI, wants to hit it straighter, and then at setup, probably is a little bit easier to turn over. So that player who's thinking rogue draw, who's thinking SF Tech Ping, 
might be thinking M4 draw. If you were throwing a Titleist into the mix, probably that TS2 is gonna appeal to that player. And then for the low spin player, we've seen both head models really great at lowering the spin. Um, but that TS3 model incorporates that, that sure fit uh, movable weight, which allows us to optimize that head for draw or a fade bias for players that are really specifically looking for a driver that's a little bit more workable. So I guess all is said and done, we have a lot of great head models launched this year in 2018. Definitely specialize uh, is, the, is the trend where every company is gonna debut uh, a couple different head models that appeal to different player types out there. So it's really important when you're looking to get fit for a driver or you're look, looking to purchase one on secondswing.com, really make sure you're coming into that scenario knowing what you want, knowing what your tendencies are, and then making sure that you're pairing yourself with a driver that complements what you're trying to do with your ball flight, which might be a little bit straighter, maybe a little anti-right, or a little bit lower spinning, a little bit lower spinning, and you'll have tons of great options to choose from uh, from 2018. We're gonna try our best here at Second Swing to stay warm as we move into the cold months. If you're local or you're close to one of our locations, feel free to stop by. We're open all winter long for you to test out some of the 2018 drivers or even take a sneak peek at the 2019 models to come. And always feel free to jump on secondswing.com to learn more about driver technology and our great selection on our website. Thanks for watching, have a great day.